the ultimate candlestick Bible for all. Welcome back. In this section, I'll be teaching you how to read the candlestick, the elements of candlestick, the limitations of candlestick patterns, and the various candlestick patterns. How to read candlesticks. There are two types of candlestick by color, green or red. For the green candlestick, the market opens at a lower price and closes at a higher price, which creates a lower wick, the lowest price the crypto trader during that period, the upper wick, the highest price the crypto trader during that period. For the red candlestick, the market opens at a high price and closes at a low price too, which creates a low wick, the lowest price the crypto traded at during that period, and then the upper wick, the highest price the crypto traded during that period. From the lower week to the upper week, this indicates the range that the market traded at that period. The four main parts of a candlestick are the open, the high, the low, and the close. The open is the price at which the crypto open trading during the period. The high, which is the highest price the crypto traded during that period. And then the low, the lowest price the crypto traded at during that period. And close, which is the price at which the crypto closed during the trading period represented by the candlestick. The color of a candlestick typically indicates whether a closing price was higher, green, or lower than the opening price. Bullish candlesticks are formed when there are more buyers than sellers, or more buying interest than selling interest. Why? Bearish candlesticks are formed when there are more sellers than buyers. Neutral candlesticks are formed when the buying and selling interests are in equilibrium. There are no reason for the price to change. The elements of a candlestick speaks more about the momentum in the market. Here is the important information to deduct from the candlestick. When bodies become taller, it shows an increase in momentum. Why? When bodies become smaller or shorter, it shows slowing momentum. The length of a shadow helps in determining the volatility, like the entire range of price fluctuation. Short shadow indicates a stable market with little instability. How do trend which move quicker in one direction usually shows candlestick with only small shadow since one side of the market player dominates the proceeding. During a strong trend, the candlestick bodies are often significantly lower than the shadow. When the trend slows down, the ratio changes and the shadow becomes longer in comparison to the candlestick's body. Sideways and turning points are usually characterized by candlesticks that have long shadows and only short bodies. If you see only one dominant shadow that sticks out on one side and the candlestick body is on the other opposite side, this scenario is referred to as rejection, for example, a hammer or a pin bar. Now, we will talk about the limitations of candlestick patterns. Why candlestick patterns are widely used in technical analysis to identify potential trading opportunity and assess market sentiment? They are not without their limitations. Here are some of the key drawbacks to consider when relying solely on candlestick pattern for trading decisions. Candlesticks patterns are subjective and open to interpretation, meaning different traders may see different patterns in the same price data. This subjectivity can lead to conflicting trading signal and inconsistent results. Candlestick pattern alone do not provide enough context to make informed trading decisions. They should be considered in conjunction with other technical indicators such as moving average, trading lines, support and resistance level, as well as fundamental analysis to gain a comprehensive understanding of the market. Candlestick patterns can generate misleading signals, especially in volatile or chubby market conditions. Candlestick patterns are not foolproof predictors of future price movement. They provide insight into past price behavior and potential reversal point, but they cannot guarantee future outcome with certainty. A dragon dodgy candlestick pattern is a button reversal pattern indicating price might start to re rise or reverse. Dragon dodgy are formed when the opening and closing price are at the lowest of the day. Basically, the price opened here, the sellers took control and drove the price down, but later, the buyers took control and drove the price back up to its opening and closed there. These are examples of dragon dodgy candlestick pattern in real life and how they reverse the market. 
the hammer candlestick this is a strong reversal pattern that converts a downtrend to an uptrend this is a candlestick with a small body a long lower shadow and little to no upper shadow the hammer candlestick is formed when the price opened here where the sellers took control and drove the price down but later the buyers took control and drove the price back up to its closing price here are the different hammer candlestick pattern and their success rate hammer candlestick with greater success rate has these two conditions a small body a long lower shadow that is at least thrice longer than its body length and little to no upper shadow we also have inverted hammer they are the same just that when they are found on the support of a trend they tend to signal a potential reversal from bearish to bullish trend inverted hammer candlestick with greater success rate has these two conditions a small body closer to the lows a long upper shadow that is at least rise longer than its body length and a little to no lower shadow as seen on the screen the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern is a candlestick pattern that drives a downward trend to an uptrend. This is a two candlestick formation where the second candlestick, a bullish candle that is taller than the first candlestick. This one is the first candlestick. This is the second candlestick. For the first candlestick, you can see that the opening price is here and the sellers took control and drove the price down lower, closing near the lows of the day. On the second day, the market opened at this point and the buyers pushed the price up higher, closing near the highs of the day. Whenever you see a bullish engulfing pattern at the support of a downtrend, consider that as a major reversal. There are different bullish engulfing candlestick patterns with different success rates, which means not all bullish candlesticks can drive the price upward. Candlestick with a greater success rate has this two conditions. The green candlestick should be between 120 to 140% in height compared to the red. And then there should be upper and lower legs on both candlesticks. Those with no shadow are likely not to produce a greater reversa Just as the name suggests, Morningstar candlestick pattern brings joy. A Morningstar is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern consisting of three candles, a large bearish candlestick, a small body candlestick, and a bullish candle. When a Morningstar pattern appears at the bottom of a price downtrend or at the support of a trend, this signifies that the downtrend is nearing its end. The three white soldier is an example of a triple candlestick pattern which consists of three long green candlesticks with consecutively higher closes. The closing price are near to their highs. When it appears at the bottom, it is interpreted as bottom reversal signal. So for example, this is the application of a three white soldier candlestick and you saw how it caused a change of trend. Another continuation candlestick we'll be discussing now is the bullish tree method candlestick. The bullish tree method consists of a long red body followed by three small red bodies. The three red bodies are contained within the range of the first green body. For example, the tweezer button, just like the tweezer top, consists of two or more candlesticks with matching bottom. The candlesticks may or may not be consecutive and the size of the color can vary. It is considered as a minor reversal signal that becomes more important when the candlesticks form another pattern. This is what happened. The first candlestick, which is a bearish candlestick, opened here and closed at the low of the day. Then the next candlestick, which is a bullish candlestick, opened at this low and closed at the high, as seen here. Whenever you see a tweezer button candlestick, just consider it as a minor reversal. The next single candlestick pattern we will discuss is the gravestone dodgy candlestick pattern. This is a top reversal pattern indicating price might start to fall. Gravestone dodgy is formed when the opening and the closing price were at the highest of the day. Basically, the price opened here, the buyers took control and drove the price upward but later, the sellers took control and drove the price back down to its opening and closed there. For example, as you could see on the chart, whenever you see a gravestone dodgy candlestick, Usually, this indicates that there will be a potential reversal. It's a potential reversal. It's not a go ahead and enter the trade. The shooting star candlestick is another type of hammer candlestick, but more like an inverted hammer that is found on the resistance of an uptrend. This usually drives an uptrend to a downtrend. The shooting star candlestick is formed when the price opens here. 
The buyers pushed the price upward but the sellers took control and drove the price downwards to its closing price. Shooting star candlestick pattern with greater success rate has these two conditions. A small body closer to the lows, a longer upper shoulder that is at least twice longer than its body length and little to no lower shadow as seen on our screen. The hanging man is a single candlestick pattern that is formed on the end of a resistance of a trend. This is a black or red candlestick that consists of a small body near the high with little to no upper shadow and a long lower tail. The lower tail should be two or three times the height of the body. The hanging man is considered as a bearish candlestick and a potential uptrend reversal pattern. So whenever you see this at the end of an uptrend, just know that there is an incoming downtrend. That is the meaning of hanging man candlestick. Unlike the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, the bearish engulfing candlestick pattern is a candlestick pattern that drives an uptrend to a downtrend. This is a two candlestick formation where the second candlestick which is a bearish candlestick is taller than the first candlestick. This one is the first candlestick. This is the second candlestick. So for the first candlestick you can see that the opening price is here and the buyers took control and drove the price upward closing near the high of the day. Then on the second day the market opened at this point and the sellers pushed the price down closing near the lows of the day. Whenever you see a bearish engulfing candlestick at an uptrend especially at this resistance of an uptrend. We consider this as a potential reversal. There are different bearish engulfing candlestick pattern with different success rate. Candlestick with greater success rate has these three conditions. Both candlestick shadow and body should be average. The red candlestick should be between 120% to 140% in height compared to the green candlestick. There should be upper and lower legs on both candlesticks. Those with no shadow are likely not to produce a greater reversal or no reversa at all. Just as we already mentioned that table candlestick patterns are formed from the combination of three candlesticks that form either a bullish or a bearish reversal pattern. The very first of this triple candlestick pattern we'll be discussing is evening star candlestick pattern. An evening star is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern that consists of three candles. The first candlestick is a large bullish candlestick followed by a small body candle or a dodgy and a bearish candlestick that must close below the middle of the bullish candlestick. Evening star patterns appear at the top of price of uptrend signifying that the uptrend is nearing its end. The next we'll be discussing in our series of triple candlestick pattern is the bearish tree method candlestick pattern. The bearish tree method formation is a long black body followed by three small bodies. Normally the green and the long black body which is the red candlestick. The three green bodies are contained within the range of the first red body. This is considered as a bearish continuation pattern. A tweezer top consists of two or more candlesticks with matching tops. The candlestick may or may not be consecutive and their size or color can vary. It is considered a minor reversal signal that becomes more important when the candlestick form another pattern. The first candlestick which is a bullish candlestick open here and close at the high of the day. Then the next candlestick which is a bearish candlestick open at the high and close at the low. This is a reversal pattern as seen on the screen.